Once we get it there, it'll be like it vanished off the face of the map. Mission Washington Nuclear Base. Search initiated. The smallest of the Autobots! I am not sure if I should congratulate you, Starscream, or laugh at your choice of opponents! Starscream, leave. I live to serve my masters. You have failed me most grievously, Megatron. Your plans were carried out to the last detail! Because of your poor leadership, Devastator has been destroyed! I led generations of Decepticons into war, without help or orders from anyone! A war you failed to win! Yet! But once I have retrieved your precious artifact, that will change! Yes, the defeat of the Autobots is at hand. Their leader will stop at nothing to protect this primitive planet, and the lowly human insects who infest it. He must not be allowed to interfere again. Leave it to me, my lord! The last time it was left to you, we had to retrieve your defeated scraps from the bottom of the ocean. Vengeance is a strong motivator! Vengeance welcomes mistakes, of which you have met your quota. Bring Optimus Prime before me. Alive or dead, it matters not, so long as you do not fail. It shall be done. I have just the thing to bring Prime running. Let this be our final battle, Prime. You and I, for the future of all Decepticons and Autobots. If you choose not to fight, then the death of all Autobots is on your conscience. Starting with this pile of junk. Alone, Prime. Alone. This is clearly a trap. A trap designed to distract us from the true purpose of these ancient Cybertronian artifacts. But walking into this trap may be our only chance to discover what they are up to and disrupt their plan. I'll calibrate my cannons and prepare for the fight. No, Ironhide. Should I fall to Megatron, the Autobots will need your leadership. But that is exactly what Megatron wants. I didn't say I was going alone. Then I will prepare your combat team. Back to torture me some more. Calm yourself, child. I am no enemy. You're no Autobot. The universe is larger than your understanding of it. My motivations are larger than those of your petty war. Mind your words, old man. I've lost friends in this petty war. I am a seeker, young Autobot. My name is Jetfire. If you value this planet and your friends, then I advise you to escape quickly before the real enemies return and imprison us both. Great plan. Blindly follow the Decepticon's advice. When the great war between Decepticon and Autobot began, I chose to ally myself with the Decepticons. Their cause was the same as mine. Sustain Cybertron. Over time, I began to realize that it was only part of their cause. I ceased to be a Decepticon 
and sold myself for the Autobot cause. And that is why you're hiding out in the Decepticon base. I flew here to Earth to dismantle the Star Harvester and watch over the matrix of leadership. I was captured by the Foreman. He forced me to reveal the location of the matrix. He plans to use it to activate the Star Harvester to consume Earth's sun and to create a multitude of new Decepticons. Now can we go? That depends. Are you done monologuing? The service launch pods are below the main hangar. That way, you will not be able to make it past the security without my help. I will hack into the system to aid you. Wait for me at the hangar. Could my day get any weirder?
fire! <laughs> Eat! 
roots of this. I'm hit! It's like I don't even have to try something. Deceptive jumps make my day. Oh, heck, this ain't good. Bye bye, deceptive guy. Hey, quit it. I'm supposed to be hitting you.
Shit. Angry. Shit.
See that series of launch pods? Program one with new coordinates and you're free. Go, Bumblebee, and warn the Autobots about Megatron's plans.